Well, let's bring in Afshin Ratansi, London host of RT UK's new politics show, Going Underground. Uh, he joins us now. Um, Afshin, you worked on a UK broadsheet uh, when apartheid was at its most notorious in the 1980s and then saw the big change from Mandela uh, being transformed basically from prisoner to president. How do you remember him being assessed by leaders around the world? Certainly back then he was a reviled figure by people in uh, actually mentors of the present government. Uh, famously there were posters from the Conservative Party here saying that Nelson Mandela should be hanged. And of course Nelson Mandela we have to uh, all agree was uh, someone a proponent of violence against uh, those other anti-apartheid uh, elements in South Africa who thought hey, there's a small minority at the top, there's a large majority at the bottom, we can use industrial action. Mandela believed that killing men, women and children in the streets of South Africa was a tool that was valid. And of course here in Britain the IRA were doing similar things, so they became conflated. These were the movements of their times, along with the PLO it should be added. Uh, of course things rapidly changed. By the time I met him uh, in the late 1990s, uh, his views had changed uh, quite a lot. I mean, there's no denying, is there, that the name Nelson Mandela symbolises compassionate, inclusive leadership. But uh, what are the lessons for today's world leaders, do you think? Well, when I met him, he was selling arms to Persian Gulf dictatorships. And uh, it's noticeable that uh, what he did do is impoverish South Africa. And uh, he made a secret agreement for his release as part of this reconciliation agreement to basically sell South Africa off uh, $850 million from the IMF. So things are certainly worse for the black majority in South Africa uh, since his release. And uh, that's not often talked about. But when you talk about the future, perhaps there is a child in Soweto today, um, inspired by Mandela, but also inspired in a way that is slightly different. Um, to really uh, be as anti-imperialist as Mandela said he was, supporting the Cuban Revolution. His first trip was, of course, to see Fidel Castro, but actually believing in it and actually using those uh, same beliefs to create action, political action, in power. Whereas uh, the Mandela I saw, his defense minister at the time, mired in corruption, and uh, basically all his cohorts, uh, many of whom the South African majority believe are corrupt, maybe there is a child in Soweto who uh, will carry out the beliefs that Mandela so, uh, so articulately put uh, to the people at the Rivonia trial back in the 1960s. Okay, thank you, Afshin. That's Artie's Afshin Ratansi in London.